All right, all right. Pickups, 2016 Retro Palooza in Dallas, not Houston. Uh, before we get into this, I just want to say I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Maybe I party too hard uh, at these at this convention, but I'll try to make it through it. So if I'm a little bit not uh, animated, you might know why. So I uh, got a. Every year I only go to one convention usually, and I try to get as much as I can, stuff that I never see here locally, so obviously you're going to see, you're not going to see many small things, let's put it that way, it's not going to happen, we're mainly looking at like big stuff, okay, so, um, alright, so where do we start, um, let's just go through some stuff, uh, no random, no order, that wasn't good, uh, okay, so I finally got a power pad, um, there's a couple different versions. There's the ones that were in the boxes that had like just a white box. This is like the individual one. Uh, don't really care for the power pad. Don't ever plan to use it. I like the having the box. It's a pretty cool display unit. Figured I'd buy it. It wasn't too expensive, so I get that. Uh, did get some. I'm a Sega CD fan, so I got some Sega CD shit, of course. Um, Wonder Dog, really interesting. Nice to see this in the box. And Sewer Shark, one of my all-time favorites on the Sega CD. Uh, glad I got this. Really cool. It's complete. I don't need it. I probably got six or eight different copies of Sewer Shark. But this version is the one I've always wanted. It's the only one that's in the box. The blue copies came packed in with the Model 2. This one came out during the Model 1 era. So these you don't see very often. So as a uh, Sega CD collector, this, these were one that I needed. Wonder Dog's not too bad either, but uh, those are ones that I really wanted. Uh, in case you all haven't seen my Twitter, um, I was able to find a marquee, and what a marquee it was. Look, Boshonian. No shit. So if any of you are familiar with the JVD Season 2, uh, this was the final game. Uh, considered, I think, or Benny talked about being one of the first uh, shooter games like that. Or first person, or I don't know what it was. First shooter something. And uh, I have it. Unbelievable. I was really shocked. I found this like the last day. Uh, in the corner or something, and I, I, I kind of like Marquis. I have a couple. I've got Guerrilla War and Double Dragon 3. I kind of always make you sad seeing these because obviously you know they, they gutted an arcade cabinet to get them, but it's also really cool to get them because if you appreciate them, you know, this is something you can keep that probably would have gone in the trash otherwise. Um, and I think it's really cool to have this. I did win the Season 2 Challenge. If you haven't seen it, maybe I'll put the link below. Uh, it is really cool to find this. I, I, I wouldn't believe, there's only five of them, I wouldn't believe digging through that this would be one of them, I was really kind of shocked, so that's really cool, going up on my wall, good memories with that. Um, we'll start, oh, uh, my 3DO, my FC1, with the drawer that uh, doesn't work anymore, I finally got it to kind of work, but the laser won't move, so it only scans a little bit, then when it tries to move, it fucks it up, so it's done, it's whatever, and I, I as sadistic as I am, uh, I like, heaven help me, I like the 3DO uh, for some reason or another. So I've always been looking out for another one. 3DOs can be kind of expensive. Uh, I found this one, uh, really good shape, I think. Um, not the particular model that I would have liked, but I know this has less problems uh, as far as the having the, you know, the, the drawer that comes in and out, because that can be a problem as well. So hopefully this one lasts longer. Like I said, no cracks, no nothing. There were probably three or four of them there. Uh, I waited to the last day. Told the guy, asked him, I said, hey, how much you want for that? It's been here the whole weekend. He's like, I'll make you a good deal. Uh, I, I want it gone, which is whatever. I, I want one. He wants it gone. Good uh, good match. Um, so he had this originally stickered at 120 which was kind of high. I saw a lot of people selling it for 100 over the weekend, um, but not as good a condition. So, you know, I got that. And he also had, where is it? There's... The regular controller that came with it, which these are always weird because you got to daisy chain, daisy chain the motherfuckers together. So the regular controller that goes with it, right? Power cable, the uh, the uh, uh, coax cable, and also I got a box controller, which is pretty cool. Not that these are worth a lot, but uh, this is pretty neat in itself to get a box one. I probably for some reason have like six or eight of these controllers. I try to pick them up whenever I can, just cheaply in case I ever need four player for something. Uh, so yeah, I got one of these. So that wasn't too bad. So what he did was instead of 120 because he wanted to move it, sold it to me for 80. I think that's a pretty big win. That's all that stuff there for 80 bucks for a 3DO. You can't go wrong. If you're trying to get into the 3DO market, you could do a lot worse unless you just happen to find one at a grab sale. Uh, and it's in really good shape. So that's nice. So now I have my 3DO back. I can play some 3DO games. As stupid as that sounds. Uh, okay, so 
let's move on to some Nintendo games. Uh, as always, I usually always buy more boxes than I do games themselves, which is ridiculous. I don't know. Don't ask me why, but... Uh, and I, I really, if you look behind me, I have a lot. So I need stuff... I need to buy stuff that... I need to get like that I you know like in my collection most of that stuff is not just filler it's high-end stuff so I'm trying to get some of the big stuff first before I start filling in getting baseballs and all the other shit like sports games so anyways uh, that's why there's not a lot uh, metal fighter uh, very strange looking I always like these looks I don't color dreams game I don't know I didn't play it uh, might be cool figured I'd try it out why not one I've been looking for for some time uh, excellent game I didn't get a good price on it, but I got a fair price, I guess. So I got Darkwing Duck. Finally got that off the list. In good, very good shape. Um, well, we'll save that for the other one. Uh, Mario's Time Machine. Uh, another one I needed to fill in the lot. Uh, I, should, I should have all of them now. I have Mario's Time Machine, Mario's Missing, uh, and then I also have uh, uh, Mario Letters the Early Years on Super Nintendo. With, of course, their the Super Nintendo versions of both, so I should have all of them, I think. Um, there might be one or two, somebody might correct me on that, but uh, these are pretty weird, and why not? It's bad, but, you know, it's pretty neat to have, too. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, I swear to Christ, I swear on all things that are holy, that I had a copy of this game. Don't know where the hell it went. I think I lost it when I moved last time, but I had it, so I had to buy it again, which pisses me off, because I think I bought it originally for, like, five bucks. Uh, now I had to pay, obviously, more than that for this, so... This is finishes up my uh, Friday 13th Nightmare on Elm Street set. Now I just need the box for this, and then I'll be good to go. Uh, these are the two expensive games. I didn't just spend a whole shit ton of money at uh, at this convention. I really spent a lot of money. I really traded in a lot of shit to get a lot of it. So uh, I got a lot of my stuff that I've been saving, Super Nintendo stuff, Sega, that I never play that I just figured trade in and get Nintendo because that's what you really want. Um, so I got this thing. If you hadn't noticed, I just posted a video up on my channel uh, showing me beating this game, no death. Um, really sad that I have this game, but again, when you're going for uh, an NES collection, you have to have it. So it is what it is. I, you know, I, it's not in bad shape. It was the price wasn't really good, but it's Wayne's World, and so whatever. I gotta have it. next one, another one. Uh, I didn't. I'm not a big fan of the shape of this carton. There's a little bit of sun fading, I think, on this side. Don't know if you can see it. Uh, but this is Die Hard. Uh, another bad game, so to speak. Uh, nice to have it though, it's going up in price. Uh, should be interesting to see what happens with that. So that that's about all the, the games that I had. Um, as far as like the loose games, now we'll get into some of the other stuff that I got. Uh, let's see. Alright, so I'll try to go through these faster. Power Punch 2. Very, uh, very cool. Uh, to finally get this, it's complete in the box. There's the game right there. I had it loose because I'm going to put it up in the collection here. Um, really nice shape. Very strange game again. Uh, I got this from uh, Scott. From uh, Scott Squatch. If I'm sure some of you know. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised how good a deal. I mean, I, I didn't talk him down. If I get a, if someone gives me a fair price on something, I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to haggle hard. I'm not a hard haggler. It's just not going to happen. But uh, you don't see a lot of these. I've never seen one loose. Uh, rarely, even rarely see it in the box. Uh, give them 40 bucks for it. It wasn't bad. I was any game you can get complete that's not something that's like a $5 game when you get it for 40 bucks. That's a good deal. It's got the manual and it's in good shape. So it, it's a ridiculous title. So why not? I'm just going to get it. You know, might as well, if you're going to buy the game and you never see it loose, you might as well just buy it in the box if you can find it. Uh, this is something that's really cool. Uh, last minute pickup. Um, this is the controller that I use all the, pretty much exclusively when playing Super Nintendo games, even on my main, on my computer. Uh, got it in the box, don't need another one of these, but uh, it's nice to have this, kind of another one of those childhood things that I'm trying to get back. So, the, so now to have this, I know these aren't worth a lot of money, but not the point. Nice to get one. Uh, it wasn't too bad of a price. Uh, so, what have we got? More boxes, boxes and boxes and boxes. Trojan, why, don't ask me. Don't, don't even ask me. It's got the hanging tag. Kind of interesting. Uh, Trojan. Uh, let's get some of them less common or rare ones. Um, okay. Uh, NES cleaning kit. 
Don't need it, no reason for it. I think it's pretty cool to have though. Give that uh, a little home. Dirty Harry, ridiculous. Uh, this is just the box only. I have, well, I don't know, that's a good question. Do I have the game? I'm pretty sure I have the game. Uh, if I don't have the game, I have it now. Because I, I got the game with it, so. Dirty Harry, a uh, very strange game. I've never played it. Um, figured why not why, go ahead and get the box. Commando! Everyone should have a copy of Commando, even though I don't really like it. Uh, cane tag and everything with it. Kinda nice to have that. 3D World Runner. Good shape. Uh, has a lot of shit in it. Almost probably, I'd say, all the shit that, uh, that you got in this, including the 3D glasses. So, this is like a real complete. Uh, really cool. With the game, I don't... Uh, I probably... Yeah, I don't have it. So, some of these ones I, I just picked up and... Little extra bonuses. Now, the rest of these are ones I already have the games for. I'm just trying to get good boxes. Uh, Ninja Gaiden 2. Uh, I'm, should be. Let's see. I should have Ninja Gaiden 1. Okay, I don't. This is my first Ninja Gaiden box. I thought I had the first one, so this is nice. I, I always preferred number 2 over number 1, so good on that. Got that out of the way. Uh, here's one uh, a lifelong urge. Like one I have to have, even if I had to sell all this shit for some reason. Super C. Excellent, excellent, excellent game. My favorite Contra game on the NES. Even better than Contra 1. Uh, box isn't in like super, super perfect condition, but it's in reasonable. And, uh, you know, I, I gotta have it. I, I, now all I gotta do is I gotta get, unfortunately, a Contra, the first one, which is gonna be shitty for multiple reasons we won't go into. So, it's nice in the Konami game out of the way. Uh, Bundle these. Save those best, some of the best for last year. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 1. Now, this has the hang tag intact. In you can see it back there. Um, not in bad shape. Only thing that's kind of shitty about it is it's got a little bit of a tear up there, which most of these do because of the hang tag. And also has a sticker. Why does it have a sticker? But needed it. Looks good. Uh, now I have a full set, uh, complete in box. Uh, Mario 1, 2, and 3, which is something I wanted. Uh, this is one of my original games. This is the game, the actual version of Mario that I got. I did not get the double version, so nice to have that. Get that out of the way. Another original one that I've always liked a lot, Solomon's Key. Um, very hard game, very long game. This is something I'm sure Moose could uh, beat that I, I have no idea how to do it at all. Um, but I, I mean, I can get through a couple levels. But nice, good shape. Um, for some reason, these are always kind of expensive. Uh, but I, again, I, I like it, I need it, I got it, you know, so it is what it is. Uh, next couple ones are kind of ridiculous, Cliffhanger, why, why oh why, um, really good shape, I think. It's, it's Sylvester's Blowns too, it's terrible, terrible game. I got the box, so there you go. Um, this is a big one for me. Battletoads Double Dragon, uh, box only. I have the game, I know I have that one, I bought it a while back. Uh, good game, um, not as good as the Super Nintendo or the Sega, some people debate which one's better, but uh, really nice, really clean box, happy to have it. Uh, you know, really gonna you know, knock another one off of my hard to get list that I need, makes the game even more valuable, and really cool art, so nice to have that. Uh, now we're coming up to my two big ones that I really were surprised that I got a good price and you got to snag them when you can get them because usually these things come packed together and they just make the price even that more insane. So, um, Mega Man 6, the box. No instructions or anything. Not in bad shape, a little bit of crinkles here and there. Uh, this is always, I thought, a really interesting looking front box. Uh, really nice. I don't really particularly care for the game. It's not a bad game. It's not a good game. But uh, Mega Man 6, so that's, that's really nice. I already have a full Mega Man set, loose, so they're just, we're furthering going along with this. My favorite, the one I got really excited about, not in super great condition, has a few tears, little bends here, but uh, I mean, there's no other real serious damage to it. One of my favorites, Mega Man 4. This is the definitive Mega Man on NES for me. Everyone's gonna pick their own. Some people say two, some people say three, I don't think anyone says five, six, maybe some people say one, uh, but some people do say four. I think four is the best, hands down. Have the most memories with it. I like two, I mean, I like two, I like three. This is it for me though, this is where the buck stops. Uh, really, really happy to get this one. And now, 
with having six and four. I also, if in previous um, previous pickup videos, if you haven't or showed you, I have Mega Man three and Mega Man five in the box. So now I have six, five, four, and three, which means all I'm missing is two and one. Uh, that would be awesome to have the Mega Man's complete in box. Now, these are much better than those. Mega Man five is in really rough shape, um, uh, but it was a gift, so. You know, I can't complain too much. It's it is fucked up, but it's at least I got it. Okay, uh, Mega Man Three is not in too bad shape. Uh, I know everyone Mike really wants that one, but I really need two and one. Two and one are gonna be hard. A lot of people, even though two is not two is probably the cheapest I think out of almost all of them for a loose price. For some reason, two because people debate on how good it is and where its place in the series is. Two is like. Two is always expensive. People always want like a hundred dollars or something on two, can CIB. So I don't know. It's, and one is one is also just a, it's an expensive game in itself. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna get it. I may be screwed. Who knows? But uh, so yeah. So that that's that's that. Uh, it looks like I'm almost running out of room with my camera. So we gotta we gotta speed this up here. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here? I have a few more that I did not prepare what I was doing because I'm an idiot. Uh, all right. So. This, Batter Up, something I got for the collection. Uh, I've never seen, if you guys have never seen it, it's for Super Nintendo. You play sports games on it. So I guess it's kind of a peripheral, uh, like what a Wii Remote would do. Never used it, seen it, ridiculous, really cool to have. Never going to use it, but it's fun to have in the box collection because there are a lot of boxes here. Uh, bought just a loose case for uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. He had it complete. The game was fucked. Uh, I really wanted this just because I have it loose, uh, sold it to me. So there you go, that one's complete. Uh, could be in better shape, could have the book, doesn't. So that sucks. Uh, let's see, it's, I don't think any of the rest of these I got. I think I got like one more and I can't remember what it is. Or maybe I'm lying to you. I'm probably lying to you, I don't think I have anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm lying to you. I don't have anything else. That's that's it. That's all I got for uh, Retro Palooza. Really great time. Really good stuff. I mixed in a few deals. Um, I was gonna buy a laser disc player. I've been collecting a lot of laser discs lately. Unfortunately, it was it was sold before I could get the money for it. it really sucked. It was a good price. Laser disc players are hard to get. Anyone's got a laser disc player out there and you want to sell it, contact me. I have a bunch of them. I would like to watch them at some points, but they are hard to get. Um, but always fun. Retropalooza was good. The panels were good. I, I could see this. I could see Retropalooza getting bigger. A uh, lot of vendors. A lot of fucking vendors. A lot of good stuff. Uh, really authentic about why they're doing it. Um, I really hope they continue. It's the closest con to me now that SGC is like Rooster Teeth now and they probably won't ever have it in Dallas anymore. Uh, but really, really, really enjoyed uh, Retropalooza. Hopefully, it's it, it had a pretty nice sized crowd. I was surprised. Hopefully it keeps getting bigger every year. Maybe it'll be as big as SGC. Who knows? Um, I'd love to see it that way. But I had fun regardless. I got tons of stuff. I got to go in and now reorganize the shelves and find places for all this crap. Uh, even though, And luckily I sold a lot of stuff, so that helps a little bit. But um, yeah, had a good time. Good stuff. Me and Arthur uh, filmed some stuff around the con, which I will release in a couple days as I edit it together. Because um, there's a lot of footage. So as you can see, some of the other stuff. Saw some really cool, rare stuff. But uh, yeah, well, thanks for staying with me. Pickup videos are boring. Nothing. I didn't get anything like super rare. I got some shit that I needed, but nothing, nothing to write home about. Uh, so appreciate it. Uh, thanks for uh, you guys for subscribing. Remember, October is my month. I'm putting out tons and tons and tons of videos this month. Well, not tons, but putting out a lot of videos. Get a lot of things cooking. Doing the podcast here in a couple weeks, October 17th on a Monday be the first one. The next one's going to be on Halloween. Still putting the works in together on all that. That will be live on Twitch at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Remember that. Uh, I just released the first video of this month. Beat this game today on Wayne's World No Death Run. I plan to do and the VHS Memories is coming out this month. I might even do a Arthur X Jason episode. Um, I've got a couple music projects that I'm hoping to get out soon. So a lot of stuff cooking. A lot of stuff going up. Um, so stay tuned and appreciate it, and uh, I hope to see some of your all. I've been seeing some of your all's pickups videos over the last uh, couple months because everybody's going and we're wrapping up convention season. But uh, thanks for sticking with me. Hope it wasn't too boring. See you later.